the Smith and Reagan module. Modules facilitate selecting technologies or methodologies to accomplish teaching outcomes or learning objectives. The Smith and Reagan module focuses on cognitive psychology when designing instructional plans. This module is popular because instructional technology professionals follow a systematic route, which is centered in problem-solving processes and with the intention of effective learning-centered instruction. The module emphasizes design of instruction strategies by creating materials, activities, resources, and evaluating materials. One important research is Gagné and his instructional theory. Gagné was a psychologist which studies developing realistic and demanding situations. In 1950, he had the opportunity to work in training research and with a wide variety of instructional issues and learning tests. Gagné was influenced by previous theories such as Pablo, Ebbinghaus, Delphi, Thorndike, Watson, and Thoman. Gagné's studies on previous researches reveal similarities between them with the exception of Pavlov and his signal learning. Gagné contributed with four procedures which create his instructional theory, learning goals, internal processes, learning outcomes, instructional processes. Gagné's theory is the foundation to conditions-based instructional design modules and is included in the work of Miriam, Wegler, Smith, Reagan, and others. Merrill instructional design studies recognize that there are different types of outcomes after presenting a procedure, and each one requires a different assessing procedure. Rayla elaborate a module for instructional design as an extension of the work done by Merrill. This work targets a more compound, unknown, and moot for instructional design topics. The Smith and Reagan Spans and simplifies Gagné's work by developing a widespread cognitive process essential for the acquisition of each of the different learning components and to be applied to different types of learning. The Smith and Reagan module diverges from other modules because it is innovative by focusing on education and the subject matter instead of the procedures and practical academic variety. Also, their model is received as a simple or common instructional design module, and it is based in three stages of instructional design, analysis, strategy, and evaluation. The Smith and Reagan module outlines the events of instruction by extending instructional plans into lessons. The Smith and Reagan analysis is critical to instructional design. Most modules overlooked this step and focus on front end analysis. Analysis focal point is on the learner's background, learner's context and learning goals and tasks. The strategy organizes and designs providing instructional components. The analysis process involves four components, contextual analysis, learning analysis, task analysis, and assessment of learning. A strategy facilitates the elaboration of instructional activities. Additional theories from different fields such as education, learning psychology, behaviorism, cognitive learning, informative processing, and multimedia learning are used to conduct the testing process. 
instructional strategies are composed of organizational strategies, delivery strategies, and management strategies. Evaluation applies the instruction before it is implemented. During the evaluation process, the results are revised, implemented, to guarantee that the goals of the instruction are achieved. During this process, revision and implementation follows. During the evaluation process, also formative and summative information takes place during and after the design process. And Smith and Reagan used various research literatures and theories to develop their instructional model. They used Dick and Carey's design systems approach model that's a more complex. The Dick and Carey model presents the activities along with the instruction design process and clusters the material using contextual and specific instruction strategy. In the Dick and Carey model, first, it's important to understand, diagnose, and analyze the instruction problems. And second, to connect applications and research by understanding the possible foundations of the solution and providing a solution. Dick and Carey instruction systems design serves as a teaching tool with the purpose of training. The ID model consists in eight step process. Analyze learning environment, analyze learners, analyze learning tests, write test items, determine instructional strategies, produce instruction, conduct formative evaluation, and revise instruction. Smith and Reagan uses uh, another researcher, Ray Redlin. According to Raylan, there is a need to redesign the learning system with the purpose of accomplishing new learning needs of knowledge. Raylan interprets ID as a side of instruction where methods of instruction facilitates education and training programs. Another research also credited by Smith and Reagan is Jensen, which theory has the intention of solving and providing the theoretical development to a problem. The Smith and Reagan model is based in previous studies and what differentiates their work from others is because they use a cognitive approach to solve and create their model and they focus on analyzing the learner's internal process to acquire knowledge.